Hey there, so today I wanted to talk about a relatively new feature in PCDMS called Mini Routines. So this is available as of version 2014. So what Mini Routines are, are characteristic based execution tools. So what that means is I can execute based on dimensions only, for example. So you can see here I've got 15 dimensions, but imagine you had a program with say 100 dimensions, 200 dimensions, and you just wanted to pick and choose between those dimensions and only execute based on that and then only report based on that. So you can generate a report that just has a couple dimensions. It's just a nice, quick, efficient way to do that. So one of the criteria for using mini routines is you must have the clearance cube activated. So this is important because it's designed to work with the clearance cube. So that means that all of the executions are safe, all the tip rotations, everything happens outside of that clearance cube. So I have mine activated, I'll just show you that. Yeah, so there's my clearance cube. So you can see I've got a, around about 10 millimeter cushion all around those faces. So no matter what I pick to execute, that will happen safely outside of the clearance cube. Okay, so let's just hide that for now. So let's open up the dialog. Mini routines are found under file. Partial execution, mini routines. And you can see the keyboard shortcut, Control Alt M. So let's give that a click. Okay, so let's look at the filtering options. On the left hand side of the mini routine dialog, you can see we can filter by dimensions right here which is what I have shown. I have dimensions 1 through 15. We can also filter by by features, by marked or unmarked items, only out of tolerance, or groups if you have them, which I have one. I have a group of bolt circles. But uh, today I just want to focus on dimensions because this is the most common use of mini routines. Okay, so over here on the right hand side, we have some built in options. These are the default options when you first open it. We can execute the entire routine, only what's out of tolerance, or we can do a one time selection of a, a few different uh, dimensions. So if I highlight that, what I can do is just pick a few, like say dimension one and two, and with the selection folder highlighted, and just add by clicking the double arrow. So this is just a one-off, just a one-time execution. The next time I open mini routines, that selection folder will be empty. Okay, so let's just have a look at some of the other options. Down here at the bottom are our alignment options. So we can uncheck mark manual alignment features if we if we've already performed that. So that's just another option. And if we've already performed the alignment, the part hasn't moved or it's in a fixture, we can uncheck this. So this simply means that it won't run the alignment that uh, those features are based on. Now, if we do want to run it, we just check the box. So this time I just want to keep it simple. We'll measure what we need to for those two dimensions and then we can generate a report afterwards with only those two. Okay, so let's click measure and have a look. So it's simply measuring those two bores and reporting a dimension for those. Okay, so that's the selection uh, folder. So we can also remove these, just right click, remove, right click, remove. So let's create a new folder based on whichever dimensions we want to run at this point. Okay, so we'll just click a new mini routine. So let's have a look at our drawing here. Okay, so let's, we'll do the, uh, the two dimensions on the angle face here. So I have a scan, a profile dimension, that's dimension 15. And I also have a perpendicularity dimension, uh, which is dimension 14. Perpendicularity of that cylinder to that uh, datum J face. Okay, so let's give this a name. I'll just call it uh, dim 14 and 15. That's it. Okay, so let's click that, highlight it, and unselect those two. We'll just select dimension 14 and 15, and then with the double arrow, we'll just move them over into the folder. 
So this will be saved. So, so the next time I open this mini routine dialog, that will be saved. Okay, so let's run that those two and we'll just have a look at that. At uh, this time I'll check with alignment dependencies as well. So you'll see that uh, that alignment execute as well. Okay, so let's click measure. So you can see there that I'm measuring three perpendicular planes all outside the clearance cube. There's my scan and my angled bore measurement there. Okay, so that's about it. It's a new tool. Up until this point, we were unable to measure just based on dimension. So I've actually had a few customers and students ask about this. So it's nice to be able to say, yes, we can do that now. And it's a pretty quick and efficient way to do that. Okay, so that's it. Uh, thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.